Hi everyone, how is it going? Today I will film a book talk or a book reaction because I just finished reading this book here, Born a Crime, uh, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's start talking about this little book here. Before I talk about the book, I'd like to tell you why I chose to read this book, what was my motivation. I've been watching The Daily Show on YouTube and I find it really funny and I was curious about uh, Trevor Noah. So I learned that he recently published this book here, released in November 2016. So I was curious about it. I learned he is biracial, his dad is a Swiss, German, white man, his mother is a black South African woman. So I was really curious about how it was for him to grow up being biracial. Since I'm biracial also, I always find interesting reading and knowing uh, other people's impressions about how it's feeling and being different, at least uh, having a different color of skin and somehow it makes you feel a little different, a little off in relation to the rest of your family. The first thing that I'd like to tell you is that it was like a roller coaster reading this book. I don't know if you'll be able to see, maybe I'll, I'll put a picture when I edit this video. I have here some stickers that I bought on eBay a thousand years ago and I never used it. Here we have some little faces, some expressions like emoji. And when I started reading this book, I was like, oh my God, this is so sad. Oh my God, this is so funny. Oh my God, I'm pissed. Oh my God, how is it possible this happened? This is unbelievable. I was so confused about my own emotions. So I used these little stickers here to express my emotions during reading this book and to capture some uh, moments. And the first big and intense emotion I felt when I was reading this book, it happened <laughs> in the first page. Here we have the Immorality Act 1927 in South Africa. The aim of this Immorality Act, as it says here, to prohibit illicit carnal intercourse between Europeans and natives and other acts in relation thereto. Be it enacted by the King's Most Excellent Majesty, the Senate of the House of Assembly of the Union of South Africa, as follows. Any European male who has illicit carnal intercourse with a native female, and any native male who has illicit carnal intercourse with a European female, shall be guilty of offence and liable on conviction to imprisonment for a period not exceeding five years. Any native female who permits any European male to have illicit carnal intercourse with her and any European female who permits any native male to have illicit carnal intercourse with her shall be guilty of an offence and liable on conviction to imprisonment for a period not exceeding four years. So this is how the book starts, with Evano explaining us with the Immorality Act how he was born a crime. So when he was born, his mother and his father they couldn't be seen together or when they were seen together his mother needed to act as a maid. It was impossible to hide a child who wasn't white or black. For example, in the US if you have a drop of black blood you are considered black, you know. But in South Africa the segregation was so deep and like well built to keep people apart and Trevor being a son of a black woman and a white man he wasn't quite white or quite black and there are views in South Africa and people like him was considered colored and it is quite interesting because here in Brazil we don't have uh, explicit segregation uh, racial segregation we have like a social segregation Brazil is quite racist country no matter what people say but the segregation we have here is more, is more like social segregation you may uh, have to deal with some discrimination but if you have money you have access to everything and in South Africa it wasn't quite like this because it was almost impossible for black people to uh, keep money they took everything from them they put them in like hoods and while I was reading this book, I felt so pissed with the things that happened in South Africa. Of course, I studied apartheid, 
when I was at school. But reading something that happened to someone almost my age, it was infuriating because I could relate uh, with the things he was talking about. First, because I'm also biracial, so I know how confusing it is. You look at yourself and it's all oh, nobody here. Uh, I don't look like anyone. I don't look like my mother or like my father. So this is quite a uh, confusing thing. And there are some other things here that surprise me in a positive way. And other similarities to my own background and I was really surprised by that. His mother was very religious and he spent most of his early years in the church and I also spent a lot of time in the church when I was younger and so it was another similarity with my own, my own story here there is an excerpt here that I'd like to read because I think that it describes me perfectly I'd read books, play with the toy that I had make up imaginary worlds I lived inside my head I still live inside my head to this day, you can leave me alone for hours and I'm perfectly happy entertaining myself. I have to remember to be with people. This is me. This is totally me. And so throughout the book, I found similarities with his story. Thankfully, I didn't endure the things he endured. Definitely not. And I was completely shocked with the things he tells in this book. Don't get me wrong, I grew up in Brazil. Brazil is not easy business, you know? We have like hoods and favelas and places with a lot of poverty. In South Africa, this is where he grew up. And the way he described growing up so dispossessed with lots of difficulties, I think that everyone everywhere in the world should read this book. Not because of Trevor Noah, but because there are some things that are happening in the world and under our, our noses there are some disturbing things that he is describing here such as racism, bullying, violence against women, misogyny it's a memoir that delivers a strong message how we have to consider other perspectives, other views but at the same time in the end he flips the thing and you laugh a lot well I could talk the entire day about this book there are so many memorable things memorable stories and he tells how despite all these things he had a happy childhood and this amazes me some things here being told from a perspective of someone that is quite young in his studies that lived so many hardships it makes you think about life in a different way, in a different perspective and even considering he is so young, he is still so young I think that it's quite a feat what he was made, was able to do with his own life It was refreshing to me even uh, considering that I grew up in a poor country being biracial so it will probably not be your case and I imagine that will be much more interesting to you than it was for me so I do recommend this book I guess every human being will have a great time and also a really emotional time reading the stories from a South African childhood by Trevor Noah this was like a book talk a little conversation about the content I found here and my impressions being a mixed race person and a Brazilian I'm curious about other people's perspectives about this book have you read it uh, did you feel interested in reading it let me know in the comments see ya and thanks for watching